Bishop, thank you for stopping by once again. This is a difficult topic for me. Every time I, we report it and I read mm -hmm. about it, it really resonates with me. It's very difficult to hear how the communist government in China has initiated a, a full-scale assault on Catholicism, on our idols, on our churches. How do we make sense of this? Well, it's hard to make sense of it. It's not just on Catholics, but all, on, all Christians. And again, any religion that somehow will put, a, 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 as, a, as they see it, some kind of a distance between the state and its subjects, they don't want that to happen. Sure. Uh, peripheral things, fine. But once something becomes, uh, in a certain sense, a religion that's an absolute, just because the state is the only absolute and their mind communist uh, philosophy. So it is difficult and it's not clear that this is happening throughout all of China. I think in my own visit there, I could see that every province was kind of different, uh, different uh, restructures, different restrictions. So it's hard to say, but we are getting pretty consistent reports that there is a, a kind of a, a resurgence of restrictions on religion. You've mentioned that you did visit there. You're so connected to, to the church in China and you're connected to the church mm -hmm. here. Talk to me personally, Bishop. Does this pain you when, when you hear of these atrocities? Well, certainly it does because, again, these people are very devout, very committed. Uh, they just want to practice their faith. They're not denying the, the power of the government. But uh, they're harassed in many ways. They build churches, some are torn down. They tear the crosses down from the top. They don't want that to be seen. They And people are, you know, do suffer some... Um, restrictions on their attendance or, or punished and so so it is a very terrible situation it's communism and it's worse uh, so that uh, it is a thing we want to show solidarity to people we know in our own diocese almost half a million Chinese born yes in Brooklyn and Queens so we really have a responsibility of solidarity with the mother country to see what we can do to help them. Now, if, if at all possible, I, I always like to bring some hope, some glass half full perspective yeah. to, to these difficult stories. What, if anything, can Catholics overall learn, Catholics here in our diocese learn about what's happening in China? Well, I think we have to learn to prize our own religious freedom. And there have been certain attacks on it in the, in the recent history that, you know, trying to curtail our, our, our rights of conscience. Uh, not the right of worship, but the right of conscience to believe what we believe and to act on it. So we have to be very careful that we should learn from other situations where rights of conscience are not respected. Our Constitution was based on the right of conscience and the right of individuals, uh, and it's being misinterpreted as uh, individual freedom, not to, uh, that doesn't always apply to religious issues. So. We have to be very watchful. It's a lesson to learn. And, and with the understanding that persecution in, in one form or another has mm. always been part of our faith. We carry that That's cross, true. so to speak. Now the situation happening in Syria, in China, in, in Africa, of course they're extreme, but they do exist. How can we support you, Bishop, our U.S. bishops who work so tirelessly to, to spread the message and to help curtail well, these Well, I think trying to become informed about the situation is important. We have to be informed citizens that can inform our own government officials about what we believe to be the right thing to do. I think that's important. You know, we do have an annual appeal for solidarity with our church overseas. Uh, our Catholic Church is universal. So that's one way, another way to help. So we, are, we do get many requests for assistance uh, for direct aid to the church, from, especially from Africa, India and also even some areas of the, of the Far East. Difficult question for you, Bishop DiMarzio. How do we find it in our hearts to forgive people that commit such depraved mm. acts? Well, it, this, is a, this is the heart of Christianity, that we are f people who forgive. Uh, doesn't mean we condone, it doesn't mean we dismiss, we forgive. And uh, I think we, that's the only way to live as a Christian. You can't harbor in our hearts uh, resentment or our anger or try to get even with people. So forgiveness is the byword of being a Christian. Long history of forgiveness. Thank you, Bishop, very okay. much. I appreciate your honesty and candor. Okay.